Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So for this video, it's just going to be a quick one. It's going to be going over a basic arms and shoulders superset workout that I like to do. Now, I know that I don't record a ton of arms and shoulders workouts for you guys, and there's a couple reasons for that. One is because it's kind of like logistically difficult because it's got a, like a really busy part in the gym. I don't want to be in people's way. Two, I don't really like to film myself doing a bunch of curls and stuff, but uh, <laughs> I figured because I don't show a lot of these workouts, I should at least give you a glimpse at one of the main sort of supersets that I do. And when I'm working with my shoulders, especially right now, I'm not really using very heavy weight. I'm really trying to focus on getting in touch with my shoulders. And I'm even allowing my traps to come into some of these movements, like these little lateral raises. And then when I'm doing my you know, shoulder presses, I am mindful that my very, very upper chest is a little bit involved. And that's okay with me too. I think I can benefit from allowing some of these muscle groups that I need to activate in different sorts of exercises to come online because rather than just like absolute hyper isolation of my shoulders it's okay if my upper chest gets involved and just like i said it's okay if my traps get involved too because i need that extra work on them and it's just good for me to establish a mind muscle connection hitting those muscles from different angles with different exercises now for the curls obviously you know i train my biceps i train biceps doing a lot of curls and i'll do alternating supinated curls which Obviously, you're seeing me do one arm at a time, and I'm pulling my wrist sort of towards me so that my palm is facing my body. My palm is facing my shoulder. I've heard it described as trying to put your pinky, like, in your armpit, basically. You know, trying to keep your elbows somewhat perpendicular to the floor. And that's what I'm doing with those. I'm just trying to activate the, the, the entire length of my bicep, allowing it to get a nice stretch at the bottom, and then trying to get a nice peak contraction at the top. And I'll do those three exercises just back to back to back for a very, very long time. I'll do, you know, at least 12 sets, I guess. It was just, just, I know it's a lot of volume, but I am working with pretty low weight. So that's allowing me to really dig in. Like I said, get in touch with these muscles because my shoulders are one of those other areas that I feel like really needs a lot of work. So even if I'm working with lighter weight, instead of just trying to grind out heavy reps, I am. I'm, I'm actively engaging the shoulder muscles where I feel like I need to get those online. And in learning about what it feels like to flex those muscles, then you're able to really actively engage them with every exercise and eventually use that same principle, add a little bit more weight, gain strength, and if you're putting enough food in, gain some size. But right now, I'm not really looking to gain a lot of size. I'm just trying to put the muscles under good resistance, really try to get in touch with everything and make sure that my muscles are in as good condition as they can be for the competitions in the next couple weeks. So, like I said, my next competition is on September 7th. I think I'm doing a good job leading up to that. The diet's going well, my training's going well. Just really want to hang in there and try to hold on to as much muscle mass as I can and uh, get ready for another fun show. But just wanted to share this arms and shoulders superset with you guys because it is one of those things that I do a lot of for my arms and shoulder training and maybe you guys would enjoy it as well. One of these days I'll get a longer arms and shoulders sort of full training day for you guys. But until then, enjoy the superset. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!